Hello beautiful friends! In this video, we are going to look at an example from chapter 22, Magnetic Fields, and we are going to look at the velocity selector. So let's read the question from Winter 13, paper 4, 3. Here it says, a particle of mass m and charge positive q is travelling with a speed v through a vacuum. Sure. Initial direction of travel is parallel to the plane of two charged horizontal metal plates. Wonderful. Okay, so the charge is positive. I'm just going to label it here in case it's important. The uniform electric field between the plates has a magnitude of this much. So this is the uh, value of E and it's zero outside the plate. Okay, so only in between got magnetic, got electric field. Uh, outside don't have. Fake news, uh, but to simplify, it's a simplifying assumption. The particle passes between the plates and emerges beyond them. Okay. Explain why the part of the particle is not an arc of a circle. Well, this is electric field. Okay. So first things first, we need to think about the uh, direction of the electric force. Of course, the positively charge will be attracted to the low potential. Because uh, you see, this is positive V, this is grounded, this is zero V. So the direction of your electric field strength is like this. This is your E. High potential to low potential. Which means uh, forces acting on a positive charge will follow the same direction as your electric force. So the Fe is always like this. Don't care what angle your part is. Okay, so because of this, uh, although it is 90 at the beginning, this angle here is obviously no longer normal. Okay, so that is the reason why it is not an arc of a circle. So I could, what I could say is that the force or the electric force acting on the particle is what? not always perpendicular or normal to the direction of velocity. Not good enough. You also need to explain. When we say not normal to direction of velocity, it means that it is, or instead it is, parallel or I guess normal to the plates. Right. normal to the plates. Hence, part is not circular. Okay? So talk about Fe. That's the most straightforward way. Next. Uniform magnetic field is now formed in the region between the metal plates. The magnetic field strength is adjusted so that the positively charged particle passes undeviated, means a straight line, between the plates. Okay, beautiful. Carry on. State and explain the direction of the magnetic field. So you need to explain. But you see, uh, all the explanation may look the same, you will say that, oh, we are going to use Fleming's left hand. But also at the same time, you need to talk about the direction of Fb. Because the direction of magnetic force will determine the direction of magnetic force. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the drawing and draw the forces acting on the particle inside here. First order of business, you will have electric force pulling the particle down. Second, of, second order of business, you will have magnetic force pulling the particle up. If they are both the same, the particle will travel in a straight line. Hence, undeviated path. So it's time to take out our left hand to decide where the direction of the magnetic field will be. So left hand, thumb first. Thumb will follow the direction of FB. Thumbs up. Okay. And then you can stick out your middle finger. Middle finger will follow the direction of the part of the particle because the part of this particle is positive. If it's negative, then it goes against. So because this is positive Q. So I'm satisfied. Thumb is going up. Middle finger, this middle finger, should follow the direction of this arrow. 
So while keeping the thumb up, I'm going to rotate the middle finger such that it follows. Ding, 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 ding. Keeping thumb up, rotate. So my hand is like this. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, so again, uh, thumb is going up. Middle finger, follow the direction of the... Thumb is going up. Middle finger, follow the direction of this arrow. Is it following the direction of the arrow? I have slightly distorted hands thanks to many years of writing as a Chinese school student. So thumb is pointing up, middle finger pointing left to right. And I see my index pointing finger is going into the plane. Miss always into one. Coincidence. Okay, so the magnetic field is going inside. I'm going to write that down. The magnetic field is uh, x into the plane of paper, the plane of the page. But we haven't explained yet. We state we haven't explained. So what's the explanation? The direction of the magnetic force should oppose the direction of the electric force. So if they are both opposing, you can say hence FB is upwards and magnetic field is into the paper using Fleming's left hand. So the last part is not necessary, but if you just want to finish up the complete picture, you can say using Fleming's left hand rule not his actual left hand. Uh. You didn't go and go to his grave and dig out his left hand. So using Fleming's left hand rule, the magnetic field is into paper. Okay? So you can always state first and then try to figure out what your explanation is. Alright? So the mark is when you mention the direction of the FB, direction of the magnetic force, have to oppose... So this direction will oppose Fe, okay? Or you mention if, it, if it's upwards. Even better, talk about both. All right, part two. The particle has this speed. Calculate the magnitude of magnetic flux density. Explain your working. So the first part of explanation, I will say that for undeviated part, so the particle move in a straight line, the upward magnetic force have to counterbalance the downward electric force. So Fb have to be equal to Fe here. So from here I can uh, put in the equation for a magnetic force of a charged particle BQV. Uh, electric force for a charged particle QE. Q and Q can say bye bye and then what are you left with? You are looking for magnetic flux density B. B is equal to E over V. Um, we have the speed. Do we have the electric fields of strength? Got more. 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4. So I'm going to go back here. 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4. And I know the speed. This is your speed here. So 4.7 times 10 to the power of 5. Right, so I can now input into my calculator and I will get something like 5.96 times 10 to the power of negative 2 Tesla. So you can put 5.96 or you can put 6.0. Okay, so if let's say you memorize this equation and you start from here, you only get one mark. This uh, one mark substitution plus answer. Where are the two other marks? One mark is here. You write the correct equation. One mark is here. The force due to magnetic field is equal to the force due to the electric field. So even writing this will allow you to lock in the marks. But if you didn't, you write this equation it also means the same thing. Lah. Okay, this is why 
I emphasize this a lot because oftentimes it's easier to memorize this equation. But if you start from here, you will lose a lot of working mark, lah, especially if they say explain your working. All right, part C. The particle in B has a mass M charge positive Q, sure, and speed V. Without any further calculation, wonderful. State the effect, no need to explain, just state only. If any, on the part of the particle that has the same mass, same magnitude of charge, same speed, the only difference here is the polarity. This is a negative charge. Ooh, very interesting. So if, let's say I replace this with a negative charge, do you think anything will change? Hmm. Okay, let's rework the whole scenario but replacing this particle with negative Q. Okay, so you can see I have a copy paste, copy paste the same diagram. Okay, so we're going to replace this with negative Q. All right, don't worry. First thing first, decide the direction of electric field. Electric field didn't change what? Direction didn't change. Magnitude didn't change. So this means the direction of electric force now is upwards. This is your Fe. Why are miss? Well, simple, short answer, negative charge attracted to positive plate. Slightly longer, but a bit more scientifically correct answer would be Nah, this is a negative charge, ma, negative Q. So the force on a negative charge will go against the direction of the electric field. Okay, next. Where is your magnetic force then? Is magnetic force also pointing upwards? Well, the good news here is, if this is your magnetic force, which we didn't change, and you use your whole FBI left hand again, okay, you will notice that, um, okay, let's do it together. Your... B is going inside, so your index finger are pointing in. Now, to stick out your middle finger. Middle finger will not follow this arrow anymore because middle finger is negatively charged. So because middle finger is negatively charged, I need to rotate my hand such that my middle finger is pointing in this direction. So middle finger is going away against this direction. Okay? And then you stick out your thumb. Ooh, magica. My thumb is pointing downwards. Okay? So now your FB is going down. Go and try lah. Wow, me so deceptive. They change charge, but the both direction of electric and magnetic force will flip. So the pathway remains unchanged or undeviated. So I will say unchanged. No change. And I'll write the explanation in bracket. This is because Fe and Fb swapped. It's like Uno reverse. They just Uno reverse. <laughs> no, just swap. Swap direction. All right. Okay, second one. Mass is the same. Charge is the same. Speed is doubled. So when you are traveling faster, Let's go back to the original scenario. When we are traveling faster, right, which force will be bigger? Fe, the electric force, does not depend on how fast the particle is moving. You move very fast, your Fe is still the same. You move very slow, your Fe is still the same, as evident from this equation here. So the only thing that would change is when V is bigger, your magnetic field becomes stronger. Mm. Your magnetic force, sorry, magnetic force becomes stronger. So if magnetic force becomes stronger, it will turn towards the positive plate. Okay, so we will say this one as deviated upwards. Because you can say when your V times 2, your magnetic force will times 2. If magnetic force times 2, now your magnetic force is greater than your electric force. So it will deviate upwards. Okay? What happens if I replace positive with negative Q? Then it will deviate downwards. I, I put part 4 here. I like to mess with students. So if the mass is M, but the charge is negative Q, and the speed is 2V, 
this one will deviate downwards. Must take the direction ho, because if it's negative, FB is acting downward. Ma. So if FB is greater, it will go down. Whereas for positive charge here, FB is going upwards. So if FB increase, it will go up. Okay. Next. Mass 2M, charge positive Q and speed V. All right. So let's again consider the equation. When you change the mass, did you change your electric force? Nope. Fe equal to Qe. No change. Did you change your magnetic force? Bqv. Also no change. So this one will remain unchanged. Or no change. Or not deviated. Because both Fb and Fe doesn't depend on m. There's no value of m inside the equation. The only time where the mass of the particle come into play is when you are moving in a circular path because centripetal force has the value of m inside. Okay, so you can use the equation to help you decide when is m a factor, when is m not a factor. So in this case, Fb and Fe, m is not a factor. All right, so that's it for the question. It's pretty straightforward. I like this kind of question. Change this, change that to test your concept. Ma. Right? And uh, please make sure you know how to explain uh, whether the path is a parabola. In this case, this is a parabola. Or if it's a circle. All right, hopefully you've covered those examples. Um, you know how to use the, draw the forces and use your correct hand, left hand in the correct way <laughs> to find the direction of magnetic field and electric field. Okay, you should be able to do calculations like this. Pretty straightforward. A reminder to always start with the basic concept. Undeviated part, force due to magnetic field is equal to force due to electric field. Always start from here. Okay, and then you calculate. If you start from here, it means you will lose mark. Because you didn't explain your working. CIE wants to make sure you don't memorize stuff. Okay, and also knows what happened. Uh, to the setup, if I change things like mass, charge, and velocity, both in this setup and also in the circular motion or mass spectrometer setup. Okay, so that's it for the question. Normally when I finish recording, you're wondering, why is it like that? Huh? Like, the computer like. Okay, so anyway, that's all for this question. If you find this helpful, do share us, share our channel with your friend, share the video with your friends. Let's learn physics together. Like and subscribe. You know what to do. I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.